need to shut them down. Prioritize them as a threat. Something. Yep. It's gone on for too long. Oh, I heard you, Mary. The first motherfucking dozen times. If you did, we wouldn't be here, am I right? What's going on? What? Conspiracy? And did he darken my picture? Hey, Ray, can you scrub this shit? Yeah, well, it's not gonna be that easy this time. Looks like the douche has made you a federal problem. Welcome to the club, amigo. Yeah, it's what he wanted all along, right? Set us up as the boogeyman terrorizing Silicon Valley? Dushan offers to protect them with the CTOS and the satellite backbone, and bam, everybody falls right in line. Yeah, now Bloom has access to all that collected data, feeding the damn bellwether. Shit, it's like they got a wider reach than the NSA now. Yeah, I bet the NSA will be real interested in cozying up to them now. The NSA will encourage the other corporations to keep spreading their legs for Bloom. Mm, I gotta do something. I can't stay here uh -uh. stuck. No way. That is exactly. What do she wants? Besides, you've been doing a lot of the heavy lifting so far. Time to share a load before your back breaks. All right. All right, you guys take the field. I'll provide you logistics. Let's make this happen. Hey, you gave me that look again. Are we okay? Marcus is in serious trouble. Yeah, so let me help. I'm not the bad guy here, Satara. I get it, okay? But we don't use each other here. That's Primate. That's Silicon Valley. Are you guys cool over there? Yeah, we're cool. No, we're good. Where do you need me? Hmm? <sighs> Go help Marcus. Fucking right. Meet Andrew Novak, Dushin's assistant. Oh, poor bastard. He's been stealing proprietary data for his new one true love, Mary Cat Skills. The CEO? Dumb bastard. I'm gonna hack his laptop, use his back door to get me inside Bloom's private cluster, and score the code we need. But to do that, I'm gonna need to stretch my legs first. Yo, Marcus, play me something fresh. I'm gonna need to find a way up if I'm gonna disrupt the local CTOS router. Damn, Bloom really goes that extra mile to protect its own.
There you go. And I'm in. If he finds out, I'll never work in tech again. That's the least of your problems, dear. Dushan will track down your family and get them fired, too. He's very high noon justice that way. Jesus! You're not helping! <laughs> Andrew, my door is always open. You know that. I don't plan on being an assistant forever, Mary. No, hon. Not as my assistant. You betrayed Dushan. For you! And legal and HR will never let you come aboard. You're a lawsuit waiting to happen. I scored the access code. Wrench, you're up. How does locating Bloom's backup data farm and nuking this sound? You'll get to break all the shit you want. That site's pulling in way too much power, hombre. It's on Bloom's doorstep. So go flex some muscles. Destroy the backup servers, or they'll just default to a previous version of the data we're about to wipe. Unlocks. I'll unlock it. You keep your eyes open. Does this room look small to you? Man, I'm not there. Yep, looks small to me too. servers? Dude, I found Bloom's utility closet, the backup servers, and the campus generators. Good thing I brought extra goodies. Marcus, I came, I saw, I blew shit up. I came again. 
Josh, where we at? There are 73 Marcus Holloways walking around right now, and we're spamming more. I can't print Yermi masks with your face on it fast enough for people. CTOS facial rec is going nuts trying to respond. It's safe for you to move around now. Damn, y'all did good. Sending you the code to get inside. Dushin's assistant doesn't know he's been hacked. You'll have no surprises. Once you access Bloom's aircraft computer, transmit everything through your phone and relay the intel back to the mothership. Good luck, Buckaroo. Got the game on lock like we changed the key. What? Danny Brown. Who? Man, fuck all y'all. Oh, shit. Ray. You're gonna need to shut down their ability to warn the douche. You got ideas? Exploit the campus routers and change their password. That'll lock down their Wi-Fi to everyone except us. Hustle bustle. I'm on Overwatch. Take cover! 
first one's down. Bingo. Find the next one. Another router bites the dust. That's it. They're cut off, and so is Dushan. You doing okay, Ray? Just peachy. Now don't worry about me. Just find a way down. Let's talk about Bloom's current elephant in the room. Dead sec. Last year, if you had told me I'd be doing a risk assessment on these jokers, I would have laughed. But here's the reality. Their numbers have grown exponentially. They've got public sentiment on their side. In fact, many unaffiliated people help them out by donating processing power or by distributing their messages. What started as a relatively harmless group of pranksters has turned into a movement. We see these fads come and go. Activists and rebels drawing in mainstream support and surging for a summer. They tend to fade away as people lose interest. Our problem? People aren't losing interest. We've seen several of our partners taking big hits from these hackers. They keep getting win after win, and there's no sign of that momentum slowing. Their message seems to be anti-big business and anti-establishment, which puts our company and its products firmly into their warped perception of bad guy territory. They will attack us, and it's going to be soon. They will have a lot of public support on their side. We need to be extra secure with our data, careful to avoid any PR blunders that could attract more people to their cause to be extra vigilant with our secure assets. If we're lucky, DedSec's going to do something to turn the public against them, effectively robbing them of their most important resource, supporters. safe? Yeah. Fucking chaps my sack that I'm not in there with you, but I'm safe. I know, man. I'm closing in on the air gap computer. Rebels drawing in mainstream support and surging for a summer. They tend to fade away as people lose interest. Our problem? People aren't losing interest. We've seen several of our partners taking big hits from these hackers. They keep getting win after win, and there's no sign of that momentum slowing. Their message seems to be anti-big business and anti-establishment, which puts our company and its products firmly into their warped perception of bad guy territory. They will attack us, and it's going to be soon. They will have a lot of public support on their side. We need to be extra secure with our data, careful to avoid any PR blunders that could attract... I'm through the door. And I got the car seats warmed up. Ready when you are. Ray, you seriously need to see this place. Man, don't tell me that. My heart's breaking here. Break it. Effectively robbing them of their most important resource. Supporters. Man, last time I tried this, Dushan Nimic happened. He's not there, trust me. Which is a real fucking pity. <laughs> yeah, I'll still keep my fingers crossed. Kinda unsettling that there are no guards down here. Using the admin cert that Josh scored to get into their guts. You guys getting this? We've got access to the air gap computer. It's no longer off the grid. Downloading what we need. I have an alert on a possible target near your location. Over. We've got a breach. Find out what's going on now. Alarm has been triggered. Sending local operatives. Shit. They definitely didn't like that. You watch yourself, amigo. You're still not topside yet. Yeah, I know. I got incoming.
I'm at the elevator. The engine's purring. Satara, we're coming back, but me and Ray have one more stop to make. You're invisible again. Thanks. I'm heading out, Ray. Let's lock this up. Find him! What's good, homie? Marcus. I have to say, I don't really see the win in you coming here, but... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some petty macho bullshit, is it? Hi, could you stop us if it was? What, you and Encino Man here? I don't know, I'm liking my odds. Fucking Vegas is liking my odds. Yeah, Encino Man here. I don't know who the fossil is. Now, I've been elbow deep in Ray Kenny's head, massaging his code. Improving it, overriding it, but I gotta use some props, though. He had chops for someone that was clicking two rocks together. Kudos to you. <laughs> well, don't go getting all hard on my account, Duchenne. This isn't exactly what you call a social visit. It's more of a, wouldn't you say? Fuck em and leave em situation. Yeah, that. <laughs> right. Right, well, I'm always up for a fucking run, but... Why the hell are you here? Oh, man, it, it could be important. But let me, uh, let me tell you a story. Uh, our story. Everything you've done, it's all out there now. Violating the public trust, manipulating the stock markets, the lies, the fraud. Fucking bellwether. All of it. Bluffing. What happens if you actually answer it this time? Maybe it's Bloom sending you to face the firing squad alone. Or maybe it's your lawyer telling you there's no place to run. Maybe it's just a telemarketer. You really should answer it this time. Whoever it is, you're done fucking people over.
hacker. It's a switch on your fears, fear of the other. They tried to isolate you. It's called divide and conquer. And they tricked you into thinking it's what you asked for. To keep you controlled and ignorant. They use CTOS to track you, to predict your behavior, to keep you in your place. They lied to you. And we promised to expose them and show you the truth. We invited you to join us, and you did. You said with one voice, we will not be lied to. We will not be afraid. We will not be silent. In the Thanks. Let's see what the world looks like when we aren't afraid to stand together. San Francisco hacktivist Cell DeadSec has allegedly revealed what might be the biggest scandal in Silicon Valley yet. The hackers exposed evidence that Bloom's chief technology officer, Dushan Nemec, was abusing his access to CTOS data for his own financial and political gain. Nemec was taken into custody and is facing numerous counts of fraud, while authorities have begun seizing his accounts. Bloom's PR representative Charlotte Gardner said they are as shocked as anyone and are looking into the matter while cooperating with authorities. Evidence highlighted by DeadSec could put Nemec in jail for a very long time. Uh, you should probably listen to this. That's it. That's it. We stood together, middle fingers held high. The Silicon Valley attacked our privacy, demanded our complacency, and violated our freedoms. We caught Bloom making backroom deals with each of the biggest tech giants. Companies already specialized to track and manipulate every aspect of our lives. Bloom thought they'd use us as a boogeyman to drive these companies to their CTOS. All that data was to be protected and controlled by one master program. But we didn't play fair. We shut down their CTOS for days. We exposed them one at a time, stripped their credibility, and prevented an unprecedented state of public control. Together, DeadSec gave the untouchable big brother its first black eye. Bloom's man behind the megaphone, Dushan Nimick, will spend the rest of his days in prison, thanks to our efforts. He was an opportunist, using his connections to exploit Bloom's system. They will scapegoat him, paint him as a rogue element, claim it was a singular random incident. But we won't let him off the hook so easily. We have demonstrated their weaknesses both human and technological. With great power comes great vulnerability. Bloom and their sycophants now face an onslaught of legal action and government investigation. Faith in the CTOS is at an all-time low. We did this. We know the greed engine will never rest. And to that, we promise, neither will dead set. We outnumber them. With every indiscretion, every scandal, and every scam, they add to our numbers, and we will be watching. DeadSec has given our warning. Do what you will. How much of this is hyperbole? Has it really gone global? There are new DeadSec cells popping up everywhere. The Middle East, South America, Europe, and not just them. We can't even keep up with all the new hacktivist groups. All right. Make the call. You sure? Do it. 